Hey there, guys. As you can see, today we brought out our shorty, who we're going to have some fun with. You can see we've got some coal already and some Mentos. So a bunch of you suggested that we try running the motor after filling it up to the brim with oil. But, I mean, let's face it, oil is a bit boring, so we've decided to take some cola, fill up the entire motor, stuff it with all of this candy, and give it a go. I don't know how we're going to do it, but I'd like the bag to tear open inside. Anyway, we'll see what happens. So, anyway, why have we decided to do this? I've already mentioned that this engine has to be swapped out. So guys, we're building this thing together. A lot of votes already came in. But be sure to visit our group in VK. That's where we'll decide which engine we throw in. Go visit and vote. Alright, let's get started. We'll block off the dipstick and breather tubes. While leaving just one hole open in the form of the oil filler. Otherwise, the motor is going to be completely sealed off. I'm hoping we see a spectacular fountain. Shooting straight up into the sky. Anyway, we'll see how everything goes, shall we? So, what happens when you fill your motor with Coca-Cola? Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. All right, guys, so here's what we got. So I've blocked off the main openings through which the liquid could pour out. Meanwhile, the candy... We've mixed Mentos with some Rondo. As you just saw, I took a baggie and carefully stuffed it in right here. Under the timing chain, right where the sprocket is located. So I stuffed it in, tied the baggie up. Actually, those were two baggies. Just in case, I mean, they're really thin and rip very easily. I put everything back together. What else we got left? Pour in some cola, reinstall the battery, and start the car. It'll be interesting to see how much cola we can fill it up with. So we're going to figure out exactly how much we need to fill the engine right up to the filler cap. Let's do this. Alright, so we finished filling the engine with Coca-Cola to the tune of 21 liters. Right up to the oil filler. Everything's in perfect order. Our baggie's in place. So is the battery. Now we try firing it up. Give it a bit of throttle. That'll do. Okay. It's not turning over. Okay, so that battery couldn't turn the engine over. I switched to a different one. Alright, let's give it another go. What? This one's dead too. Maybe the motor locked up.
Son of a bitch. Start already. Damn it. Nothing to see here. So here's the result. The starter motor was able to turn the engine over, as you've just heard. We saw cola splashing all over the place, but it didn't start. I removed the spark plugs just to take a look, since some liquid was going into the carburetor. I started cranking the motor without plugs, and since cola is runny with a much lower viscosity than motor oil, it found its way into the cylinders around the rings as the pistons went down. So yeah, there was some cola going in there. Here's what I was planning on doing. I'm thinking like, okay, let me just drain that cola out until it reaches level so that only the sump is full. Then I'll fire it up and start pouring more cola in while the engine is running. Right until it locks up. However, we have a problem. In that the cola has rinsed out all the oil and the bearings are now stuck, I literally can't do anything to crank the motor. I've already broken the nut while using a very large tire iron to move it around, but to no avail. I just broke the nut and the motor is completely locked up. This means we're gonna have to take it apart. Actually, to hell with that, let's just remove it and toss it away. Don't forget, we still have to decide which motor we install. Anyway guys, that's it for today. Watch us, subscribe, leave some suggestions in the comments, and see you later!